I've always had a certain penchant for the romantic notions conjured up by roses. They really are such beautiful flowers and I've decided to give one to my mate Gary, whose place we're at today as a birthday present. Ever since visiting Patsy Durack's wonderful rose garden in the Perth Hills, I've had a newfound respect for them. In fact, every time I see roses, I think of Patsy's garden and how well cared for it is. For Gary, I've got this beautiful standard iceberg rose that I'm gonna pot up in a specialist potting mix that's perfect for roses and also other acid-loving plants like gardenias and azaleas. And I hope you've noticed that I've matched the color of the pot with the color of the flowers. It's got high levels of iron and magnesium to produce lush, deep green leaves and help eliminate yellowing and premature dropping of buds. The mix is at the same level as the top of the root ball and a little below the rim of the pot to allow for easy watering and some mulch. I'm pretty sure this is one of Trev's favourite roses, which comes as no surprise because he really is the James Bond of romance. Roses perform best with regular nutrients, which is what you get with Osmocote for Roses that feeds for six months, releasing nutrients according to soil temperature, ensuring that plants are fed when they are actively growing. It's very clever, much like an inbuilt thermometer. There's also the Plus Organics variety that contains organic pellets that's perfect for feeding the soil and excellent for roses in the garden. I'll tell you what, folks, we're starting to get some heavy rain coming down, which is ideal for fertilising. I might start chucking some on the garden now. Woo! She's getting close now, folks. So there it is, folks, Gary's beautiful new rose for his birthday and the perfect potting mix with plenty of nutrients to keep it healthy with loads of blooms and lots of romance in the air. Not between me and Gary, of course, we're just good mates.